I want you to join me on a ride to work and ride the route I ride and hopefully you enjoy it. Usually a pretty good road if you remember from the uh, Richie uh, Vita Wild Bad USA tour. Uh, they rode down this road on their last uh, second to last leg while they were heading to Seattle to go visit uh, Bruce Lee's grave. I'm about mm, an hour, I guess, from there. It was interesting to watch. They rode right down the same very road, uh, less than a mile from my house. Uh, it was two years or a year and a half before I even started watching them so I wouldn't have even have known they were there but it was still fun to watch that whole series. If you haven't watched it uh, or watched any of his stuff, Richie Vita, that's uh, how I got uh, hooked on his stuff was he had an Africa Twin uh, test ride shakedown video uh, and it was really interesting. He rode uh, in January up to the north end of Scotland from where he lives in the Midlands through ice, snow, hail, and a beautiful drive. So I started, that got me on wanting to video and tape things. So I bought a couple of GoPros and started taping, started a YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully, it takes off and hopefully you guys enjoy it so uh, take a look and let me know what you think
this is my standard route to work in the morning. Uh, I don't particularly like riding the freeways because of, uh, I just don't think people are paying attention enough when they're driving and, uh, you know, too much cell phone. <laughs> some people are even watching YouTube. Uh, I've seen some crazy stuff while I've been riding on the motorcycle. So I like to ride this way. I love seeing the sun come up. It's spectacular. Uh, and then we drop down into the valley here and uh, a lot of times it's a little cooler and you'll see some fog. of the whole ride. Riding down this hill, it's kind of twisty, the sun is out, and uh, just moving along, kind of by myself. And then it just sort of, uh, all of a sudden, the fog just started to appear. It's a shame there was cars in front of me. Uh, I really like to kind of boogie down this hill. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool uh, just going into this fog bank. It was uh, a little eerie. Um, but still, it was fun, and uh, you know, it's still better than driving a car to work or working at all. <laughs> So I'm taking this opportunity to learn how to edit video, edit audio, insert audio titles, uh, backgrounds, um, transition, uh, sourcing media from uh, my phone, from the GoPro Hero 8 that I have, the GoPro Hero 5, putting it all together and trying to make a entertaining video also doing audio without too many ums and uhs so bear with me while i uh, teach myself how to do this uh, this shot here with the sun shining through the clouds actually fog uh, it was just spectacular riding down this road it was a little chilly about 49 48 degrees maybe 46 down in the valley but as uh, i progressed through and got towards work, 
the temperature increased, but uh, it's so much fun riding down here. Just checking my mirror to make sure my helmet mounted GoPro is still filming. Um, just going along here, there's a lot of uh, farms down here, some pasture land. Uh, there is Christmas tree farms, there's berry farms. It's quite, quite cool. So there's a lot of moisture down here and the you can see by the fog on both sides of the road we're just uh, heading s northbound on highway 162 towards Sumner and uh, quite a bit of power lines but it's just it, it's fun on a normal regular time when it's not locked down we uh, experience a lot of traffic on this road especially in the morning and going home so there are some alternate routes that can be used. Uh, there is some timing. Usually I'll leave later in the day uh, from work to come home to avoid some of the travel. And I will uh, leave a little earlier in the morning to try to avoid it as well. Part of the road is a lot of fun as well. Uh, there's a BMX track hidden in the fog here on the left hand side coming up. Pretty popular River Valley BMX. Uh, lots of people have come and raced there over the years. I had some cousins that used to come down from Canada and race there. And uh, a lot of farms here again. The whole area, so Sumner is known as the rhubarb capital of, I don't know, Washington, Western Washington, I guess. This whole valley is in the path of a glacier from Mount Rainier. Uh, actually, it's not Mount Rainier. It leads to Mount Rainier, but the glacier itself, from what I understand, extends from Mount Washington on Vancouver Island. If you trace it back through Puget Sound and up through the Straits of Juan, or no, it's Juan de Fuca, but uh, um, yeah, I guess that's what it is. That's where it's supposedly, I don't know, it looks to me like it comes from Mount Rainier, which is directly behind me. Uh, pretty fertile land, great dirt where I live up on the plateau in Graham. The only dirt we have is what's pounded out of the rocks. So the rocks just grow like potatoes. But you can see on the left here, uh, that's rhubarb growing there. Sometimes it's daffodils. Uh, the other side is a daffodil farm. Uh, so it depends, you know, crop rotation.
so I'm going to take this opportunity to start wrapping this one up. I think I'm going to make a, another episode, so that'll be a first as well. So I uh, hope you're in, enjoying this uh, as I learn and check my GoPro again. Uh, still trying to work the bugs out. I still only have one GoPro battery per camera, so I'm trying to balance it out as much as I can and bring something that's actually entertaining. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, I hope you click and subscribe and hit the like button. Also ring the bell so that I can, uh, so you can get notification when next video comes out. So some of the videos are uh, road bike stuff. Uh, some of it's uh, dirt bike stuff. Uh, I wish I was better at the dirt bike, so we're, that's a learning process as well. So, hope you have a good day, and hope you enjoyed watching this, and again, click like and subscribe.